Good day, friends. Welcome back to Skyrim. So previously we explored Shroud Hearth Barrow. Uh, got some good loot. Learned a new uh, word. Uh, a shout, I guess. Part of it. Kind of. I don't know. So today we'll climb the 7,000 steps. Right, Lydia? I guess we should just start. Right. I need Whoa. to ask you to stop. That shouting. It's making people nervous. I'm sorry, so I tried to stop the recording with the uh, NVIDIA GeForce <laughs> experience, whatever the app is called, and I have to press Alt Z and well as she shouted. Won't happen again. Good. Glad we straightened so, that yeah, out. Yeah, she shouted. <laughs> uh, and that's why he's mad at me. I should probably switch the key to the shout, but On your whatever. Way up the 7, steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Let's speak to him. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. What types of deliveries do you make to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Great. Anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Okay, I will do that, I guess. There's a cave over here, and there's a bear. Uh, <laughs> a very bright <laughs> bear. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I can't... It's rolling in paint? I don't know. A very orange bear. I, ha I have... Oh my god, why, why am I so surprised by it? Anyway, guess let's cr climb to High Hrothgar then. And enjoy the views, maybe? It's very sunny and beautiful outside, so I'm happy about that. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolf. I still hear battle music, so I don't know what the hell is happening. Should I maybe? Let's see. I mean, my steel war axe does not have an enchantment, which I mean I could honestly do because I have a. Although I probably know the ice enchantment, so. Let's try this. Actually, I might favorite it. Will the camera be normal? Yes. Really like access, so I know I said in the beginning that I will stick with that with an axe, and as you've probably seen, I switch around a lot. I don't know why. I'm just like that, I guess. Usually, I get bored of one weapon, so that's why. But yeah. Random hunter praying. Barknar, well, I'm not going to speak to you. You probably have something to say, but... No, not going to do that. Is Lydia behind me? Oh, she is. Slowly climbing. I see a wolf. Okay. The stairs sometimes in this game, I can't. 
Hiya. Oh, you're stronger than regular wolves. This is why I love war axes, they're very fast as weapons. Ew, the sea ice wolf belt. You know what? I might want to take it actually. Because they might be useful once I actually decide to build a house. I won't have to look for items like that, I guess. If I already have them. You know? Let's look around. My god, we're really high up. Anything in this? Oh, we have some. I'm not gonna take it. Feels wrong. Okay, so I think my game crashed somewhere around here. I'm not quite sure. I think Lydia is fighting a wolf. But I'm just going to go for there. No, I think I crashed over here. Anyway, it crashed. Well, it uh, the game stopped responding. So I had to force a uh, shutdown of the game. Force close it, I guess. But now it feels smoother. I don't know why. So, good. But yeah, I spent seven minutes climbing the mountain. <laughs> kind of, I guess. Which was not fun, so... Anyway, let's continue. I'm actually quick saving a lot since, you know, in case it crashes or stops working again, uh, you know I don't have to climb the whole thing again, which was not fun. But I did level up some skills when fi fighting wolves, so that's good. Restoration on one handed and heavy armor. I think she tells us stuff about High Hrothka or something like that. Which I'm not really interested right now, so... Um, I'm going to just skip her dialogue. Don't know where the hell Lydia is. She might be still fighting the wolf or... Ooh, wait, there might be a typical battle up ahead, so I should save. Aha, I see him, okay. Should I try a hunting bow? He still doesn't see me, so I might... But I think he regenerates his health, so... Okay. What was that? Oh, you're here, great. Great. Come over here. Lydia, let's go. I'm going to push him, because I don't have a strong shout. Just attack. Oh my god! Oh sh... You fight him. Oh god no. Lydia's hurt, which is not good. Let's see, I have a let's increase our health. Then let's do Should I use the paralysis potion? Could be good. Maybe I'll paralyze the... Or should I save it for the freaking other ogre troll thing that's on that mountain? Mm. You know what? Oh, well, let's run away from it. And let's use oak heart. Can I do that? I don't have enough magic. Uh, wait a second, I have a magic potion, I think. <laughs> Can't use it, I have to pull each oh my god. Okay. Ugh. Come on, Lydia, wake up. Okay. Do I have a spell that could heal her? Healing hands. Um uh, wait a second. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And 
he regained all of his freaking health. Oh my god, this is not fun. Okay, I'll use... Did I just drink it? Oh my god, I thought I could use it on a weapon. <sighs> oh my god, this is not fun. Oh, definitely not fun. Wait, I can level up. Let's see, let's do more health. Let's see, where's my one-handed? Um... Oh my god, no, oh god, no. And I almost had it. Oh. Shoot. Well, at least I saved close by, which is good. Now I should wait for one hour, I think. So that Lydia would be behind me. Now let's see. Let's use this, maybe. Make that guy chase us. Okay, I'm over here, you dumb bitch. I'm going to use this spell. Okay, I might actually have to increase my... Should I... You know, I'll use my one... Uh, two handed sword. Okay, I did it. Well, the second time it was easier at least. Uh, okay, let me heal you maybe. Thank you. As much as I can, I guess. Let's see, troll pelt. I will take that. Skull and a winter troll pelt. I might take it. Maybe I can make something with it. I don't know since I have mods. A lot of them, so... Let's see, let's level up actually. Let's see. Health. I'm going to increase my one handed again. And I'll quick save. So that I wouldn't have to redo the battle. Oh my god, that was very stressful. But look at the beautiful sunset at least. <laughs> uh, I guess that's a sort of reward, maybe. I don't know. I thought there should be over. Oh, no, a bit further. I guess I could try to sprint, maybe. I think I heard wolves, but I don't know if they're... If they're here somewhere, at least I don't see them. Well, at least Lydia was useful, you know. But my god, that was a difficult battle. See, I could in theory kill the troll, I think, um, you know, for that mod quest, but... If Lydia could actually climb up there and be with me, since she's very useful, but when I'm alone, well, that troll does a lot of damage to me, which is not fun. I don't know how high leveled I'm supposed to be to continue the quest, so maybe I'm supposed to be higher leveled, I don't know, since I haven't played that mod yet. Anyway, we have High Hrothgar, maybe I should turn off the menus, which seems to... Oh, yeah, I should have Anyway, might use it for a thumbnail, we'll see. Now we can put Climax supplies in here. Um, you know, why not? Store. And he'll give us a reward. I won't take anything because I feel like it's stealing from them. Let's enter High Hrothgar, finally.
I like how this looks, but wait a second. Why is it showing me to go outside? Oh yeah, I have a wrong thing. <laughs> um, so, what? I wanted to equip my torch. At this moment, in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. I'm sure. One second. <laughs> I just shouted in his face. Uh, did you like it? I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Uh... Well, who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards. Followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Um, there we go. Balance and relenting force. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. I mean, it's easy to do. <laughs> this quest is, I mean, it teaches you how to shout, I guess, but oh my god. Well, I don't really like. Oh, my again. torch went out. One second. Um, summon another one. You learn quickly. 
Once more. There we go. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. Am I supposed to speak to you? We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. I'll wait for one hour so that they all magically travel to the courtyard and I don't have to wait. <laughs> Because they're so slow, I can't. Oh, it's so beautiful, actually. Oh, let's turn that. Oh my god. Like, so amazing. Anyway, why am I so slow? Oh, I had my caps lock on. I should probably use a torch. I should actually uh, get more torches. You will now see how you learn a completely new shot. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. It's kind of laggy with a torch, so I'll just an equipper. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it. I hear it within myself. Whirlwind sprint. Approach Master Bori, and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Should I favor this? I mean, sure. We'll see how quick. Because I can switch. Okay, great. So you can master a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Now, this is a turn. really cool shell. Shout I really next like it to a lot. me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. There we go. Now I'll equip the torch while I'm speaking to Your him. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay then. Breath and focus. Let's see, first of all, let's activate the Return to Klimek quest and complete it. Before traveling to any other place. Because I always forget to complete that quest. I activate it, I do it, and I never complete it. And his reward is actually really good, so... Yeah. Next, I think I might travel to Whiterun, probably off-camera. Sell off my junk. Might as well stop at Riverwood as well, because, you know... Uh... Shopkeepers in Skyrim do not have an unlimited amount of gold, like in Oblivion. Which, I mean, it's more realistic, but it's kind of harder to sell off all of the freaking junk that you have, so... You have to travel around. With... Oh my god, these guys. Should I ready my weapon? Not yet, maybe. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Well, I mean, I'm a new Dragonborn, but yes, I'm Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. I kind of like their armor, actually. Oh my god. That will not save you. 
I shall not fall. Is that all? Okay, cannot see where the hell is the other cultist. Let's see, boots. Um, I'll take their robes because they're re really expensive. Set of zombies. I should probably throw away something that's heavy. Okay, I'll throw away this. What do you have? I'll take your robes also. Another staff of zombies and cultists' orders. We can read them, why not? Let's see. Board the vessel Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Freya Dragonbreaker before she reaches Soul's time. Return with word of your success and Mirak shall be most pleased. Interesting. So this starts the DLC. Dragonborn. Which uh, we will do but later because <laughs> uh, I need to be a bit more high level. For Why is he swimming in the water? Um, hello, Klimek. Are you taking a bath? Ah, good to see you again. <laughs> How that delivery <laughs> This is going? so weird. I delivered the supplies to High Hrothgar. Quite a climb, wasn't it? Yes. Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Great, 500 steps is not safe. bad. So, uh, I'm going to end this episode right here. Then I will travel to some places, sell some stuff, and we will continue the quests, uh, the main quest line for a bit, uh, and the next episode. So, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. I would appreciate it a lot and i shall see you next time i hope you have a very great day goodbye